What is up everyone? This is Sword Kings Darn Zero and we have a brand new update for PewDiePie's Tube Simulator. If you haven't gotten the recent update yet, be sure to download it through Google Play or the App Store. And this is gonna be PewDiePie's Tube Simulator, the prehistoric event, a brand new event that we haven't seen at all. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna be playing the game and we're gonna see the event for the very first time in 2020. I cannot wait to see what we're gonna have for this event. So let's go ahead and load it up and let's see what PewDiePie has to say for this brand new a prehistoric event here it's gonna be lovely it's gonna be nice and new and fresh oh well first daily reward okay and then prehistory the waves of our common past are still echoing today though evolution seems to have stepped back because of a huge falling rock some 65 million years ago life went on and kept changing until it created the majesty and glory we all know as me just kidding. Here's a prehistoric themed celebration for all you relevant tubers. Now isn't that nice? A brand new event, prehistory, prehistoric, however you want to call it. We have a good 10 days to be able to enjoy this event, so let's go ahead and see what we have here. Well, let's go ahead and get that out of the way. And at least the first things first is that we're going to have ourselves a prehistory type of mask here. We're going to get two masks to collect. And once I collect 1,000 tokens, then I'll be able to show the mask right then and there. So all yeah, you got to do is do the quest. You got to play Puggle. You got to get the sponsor eagles. And you got to play Craniac so that you'll be able to get all the tokens necessary to be able to get to that 1,000 token mark to open up the prehistoric mask reward. Now let's see what else that PewDiePie is going to have to say. Okay, let's go to Craniac. You can't stop life. It will adapt and survive through change. What mysterious changes it might partake is a question no one can answer. But one thing is for certain. Life has already taken a hold of Craniac. So try your best to get all these new themed items we created for the Craniac Maniacs. Awesome! We got a brand new type of item to collect here, and I'm going to be making a video with just showing off this brand new item. It's still fresh right here, and looks like how many are we going to get here? Looks like that we're going to get a total of four brand new Craniac items. Maybe I should try Maybe I should try just grabbing all those items real quick, but sadly there are no new Pixlings to find. But we already have Oog, now Oog will actually have a home to call his own. We even have Prisma Oog, so it's all good right then and there. Now let's see here. Here, was that a pterodactyl right there? Let's see. Looks like it. Looks like it. That is so awesome to see right there. Then let's see what else we're gonna find here. Nothing out of, not a thing out of there. Let me go ahead and just get the gifts out of the way. Maybe that's gonna be part of my quest. Let's go ahead and do that. Then we're gonna go ahead and go over here, and then there we have that. Now let us see. Let us see. The music. Oh no, that's not new. Where is it? Where is the new music? Do we actually have new music to see? And prehistoric. There we go. Very nice. I like it. It was still on warp drive carefully, apparently. But hey, we're in prehistoric times. This is actually quite fitting. And now let's see what items we're going to get. The time period we're covering here is from about 8,000 years ago when my ancestors discovered reading and writing. And Friday the 10th of May, 300 million years before that. So forgive us if we couldn't throw everything in there. And with great pleasure, here's some of the items that caught our attention. All right, all right. All these items, but first, we're gonna have to buy something from the shop here. We only got one thing from the shop? I can't believe that. No, we should be able to have some more. Okay, I'm just double checking, just double checking. Looks like that we didn't get anything new for our tuber. Oh, well, we have that. That was not even shown case right there. Okay, we got ourselves a little bit of a type of stone tablet, a rock for a mouse. Why not? I'll buy everything that I can. I'm just gonna double check everything. Maybe they just put it in the wrong spot here. I have no idea. We're just gonna be scro just scrolling down. It doesn't look like we have anything from there. Oh, that's sad. Maybe in a future type of deal, they're going to add even more stuff to it. But I digress. It is always good to double check to see if we actually got anything new from here. But it just doesn't seem like it, as far as I can tell, or maybe I've skipped over it. It just doesn't seem like that. Okay. Well, at least we got ourselves a keyboard, which it didn't actually highlight. So let's go ahead and get the chair. And, well, it's free, I guess? I got a free chair? Oh, okay. 
I can't complain. I got a free chair. That's probably because I got some of those gifts. Well, they gave me a free chair. I'm not going to complain about that. And then we have ourselves a prehistoric desk. That is nice. That is very, very fancy right there. We even have some fossils in the desk itself. Then for the monitor, okay, more stones. Perfect. 165 bucks for that. Why not? I'm able to afford it. How about the floors? Anything new for the floor? We're just going to scroll all the way down here. We're just going to check everything that it, we could actually check. I'm still kind of surprised that we didn't have anything for our tuber. Unless if I missed it, let me know in the comment section if I actually did miss it. Because sometimes I just overlook these type of things. Alright, alright. Keep it on scrolling, keep it on scrolling. Anything else in that is new here? Doesn't look like it. Okay, I'm just looking for the little icon. But I didn't see it there. How about the background? Anything new for the background? Okay. Looks like there's nothing new. Alright, and I don't think there's going to be anything new for the mood here. Okay, that's good. That's fine. At least we got ourselves a chair, a little bit of a monitor, and as well as a keyboard, and as well as a desk. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the items though. The items themselves. We have ourselves a bit of a cup and a little bit of a bowl right there. Isn't that nice? Just look at that. We have some different types of pottery here. Oh, I almost forgot what they were called for a second. And then we have ourselves a mutton. <laughs> oh, look at that. Sven would love this. Look at that. Okay, there you go. That is so adorable for him to eat. Oh, there's some more. Okay, looks like a bit of a drumstick there. Then we have ourselves some bones. More bones to have. All the prehistoric bones you could actually get. Now, if you were to do archaeology type of deal, I kind of almost forgot how to even pronounce that correctly. I pretty much butchered it anyways. But in any case, if we're going to do that type of theme, there you go. That's actually perfect here. Then we have caveman number one. Maybe that's the only caveman. Who knows? Then we have cave woman right here. And then we go down here that we have ourselves a little bit of a home. It's simple. It's basic. This is where they live. Who are we to judge? At least they made a house out of that. Then we have some dirt. I actually like that. That's pretty cool. That's perfect for the archaeology type of or archaeologist archaeology. I can't even pronounce things anymore. I should stop talking when I'm ahead of myself. Anyways, this is perfect just to unbury some fossils. Then we have ourselves some type of ice. I'm guessing this is ice glacier glaciers type of thing. Not really glaciers, but I can't remember exactly what it's called, but that's just what it reminds me of. Just pretty much frozen stuff. This is kind of more of an Ice Age type of deal. So eight items to collect. You'll be able to collect this very, very fast. Now let's see what we have for the item pack. The first beings that scientists call humans were living in East Africa some 3.3 million years ago. Imagine one of them meeting you nowadays with your light producing device in your hand and all. This warming reunion will have to wait though, as time travel is not yet affordable. For now, we have the power of imagination and tuber simulator to give us a glimpse. Help us help you meet the past by getting these items. And then we have two of the packs. We already got one of them, which is the Scientifically Accurate Dinosaur Pack. So let's go ahead and take a look at that first for those who have not gotten it yet. The Scientifically Accurate Dinosaur Pack contains five exclusive items. Dinosaurs, and they have feathers? But why? Because they are scientifically accurate. So there we go. Very, very accurate indeed. And I'm probably going to be butchering up some of the names, so I do apologize for that. Are they actually going to be in here? Oh, nope. It's going to be in the actual, let me see, the special items, if I remember correctly. Okay, so let's go ahead and go all the way down here. Let's go see what they are. Again, if I mispronounce some of the names, I do apologize. I am terrible with names half the time anyways. Let's go ahead and go right here. And then, I believe that this is a Quetzalcoatlatus. I think I pronounced that correct. But in any case, this is what we get from one of those packs right there. And that is very, very big indeed. Then, I believe that this is the Velociraptor, I think. I am thinking that's what it is because of the toe right there. The little toe claws, if I am mistaken. Again, I am terrible with names. Then, we have ourselves a Stegosaurus. Now, isn't that neat? Just a giant Stegosaurus. Let me go ahead and zoom out a bit. So, we have one of them as well. Then, we have ourselves a Triceratops. Look at that, look at that. And the best for last, we have a Tyrannosaurus Rex right here. Let's go ahead and, oh my god, he is so huge right there. Alright, there we go. Just five dinosaurs to collect. 
just it's gonna be very very fitting to have them in the prehistoric event and again they are very huge so they will take up a lot of room if you decide to buy them and try to put them in the same room but you all have imaginations you're good with that and especially with the recent update that we're able to just hide our tuber so you have even more room to work with now, let's go ahead and take a look at the other item pack, which is the Prehistoric Pack. That want to purchase a Prehistoric Pack containing 5 exclusive items, they don't give XP, but it's sure to calm the primal urges evolution left nestling deep within you. Of course, we're going to do that right now. So we have 5 new items to look at, and we're going to go over here, well not really in the gift section. Let's see here, sometimes I forget how to navigate through the whole ordeal. Okay. Oh, I guess we can't even look at the prehistoric items. I'm guessing that is still, still going to be in the premium items. Yep, perfect. All right. So the first one, we have a woolly mammoth. Right then and there. Just the tusks right there. He is pretty much a fierce beast. I would not want to come across a pathway with these guys here. All right. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Let's go ahead and place you down right here. All right. Perfect. Then, for the next one, we're going to go ahead and take a look at whatever this is. Looks like we have ourselves a dragonfly. Oh, you're not animated. Ah, well, we can just put you on a bush right there, but you'll still look cool right there. Then we're going to see what we have here. It looks like a palm tree. Awesome, look at that, a prehistoric palm tree just to put into a jungle setting right there. That is very neat. Are those eggs on top or is that actual fruit? I have no idea. Am I able to put a little bit of a dragonfly on top of that? That'd be nice. Oh, nah. Just probably just gonna be blending in with the colors anyways. Then we have ourselves the saber tooth tiger right there. Look at that. Look at that. Very, very fierce and menacing right there. You would not want to be chased by them. I don't know what's worse, getting chased by a woolly mammoth or getting chased by a saber tooth tiger. Okay, then we have ourselves some rocks and a bit of paintings right there, little caveman paintings. You see that they're actually hunting down the caribou right there. And then we have ourselves a sun and nothing. This could actually be well used for just decoration purposes. Then we have ourselves, that's pretty much all there is. I thought there would be something else right there, but just different directions. But even then, that's very cool to see. So let's go ahead and try to grab all of the four prehistoric items in Craniac. Since I've already gotten all the other different items that are non-event exclusive, then all you're going to see are just the event exclusive Craniac items. So let's go ahead and try to grab them. And look at that, I got a double. I still got the skills right there. So let's see the first one right here. Just a few taps, and looks like that we have ourselves, well first of all, look at that, level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4, level 5, 6, 7, how many levels am I gonna get? I completely forgot about that, I'm, I'm just back at level 1. It's been a while since I've actually seen myself level up so quickly, that itself just caught me off guard right there. But it looks like that we have ourselves a tusk in the ground. Let's go ahead and see what the other item's gonna be. And it's the same one. Okay, another level. So many levels. I'm probably gonna be level 75 by the time that this video ends. It's all still random luck that if I'm actually gonna get all four of the items. But let's see how long this is gonna take. All it is is that you just gotta have yourself a bit of patience, a little bit of skill, but mainly you just have to line up the actual craniac orb that goes to the crane. You know that every single 5 seconds it actually goes to a different direction. So if you were to count it, once it turns to a different direction, that's when you go ahead and try to drop the crane. Now we got ourselves pretty much weaponry there, that we have ourselves some spears to work with. Now that actually looks pretty cool. Now let's see what we're going to get for item number 3. Are we going to get all of them? Who knows? But at least I got a token, so that's going to help me get to the mask quickly. And once I get 1000 tokens, of course I'm going to be making a video showcasing the mask to you guys, so that you get to see what you're going to get from mask number 1 or mask number 2. Now let's go ahead and try go for a double again, which I got. Now that is very nice. What well, would be cool is if I were to get a Prisma egg in this recording. Alright, now it looks like that we got some, a bit of, well, it kind of looks like leather to me, but it's pretty much the skin off of an animal that they're just, I guess, drying just to make themselves some clothing. So that was number three. Is that number three? Yeah, I think that's number three. And last one. Oh, nope. I guess it's just we're going to wait and see if we're able to get the last item. All right, all right. But even then, I'm still going to be happy to get to level 75. And maybe I'll go ahead and do some live streams trying to max out everything in this prehistoric event. Because I have no idea when it's going to actually return. 
but it's still nice to see that they are still caring with the, with the community to make more events for us because we've been having the same events over and over and over. So this is just a breath of fresh air to see a brand new event. And if they were to add more to it, then that's actually pretty good. More customization for the tuber, more type of pixelings, more type of packs. Who knows? We're going to have to wait and see. All right. I still haven't seen the last one. Or did I actually get the last one? I just haven't been paying attention. That could be it i don't know i have not been paying attention at all sometimes i zone out whatever making a commentary and then i just go with the flow but sometimes i just don't even pay attention at some point too all right all right and not yet not yet how many items are we gonna grab before we get to the very last item from the craniac it's just all a matter of luck it's like 25 percent chance how am i not actually getting this Ah, uh, well, in any case, as I said before, since I've already gone every single non-exclusive item, it pretty much goes all the way down to the event items. I actually popped a bubble. I did not even notice that. Okay, all right. Are you going to be kind to me? Are we going to actually get the item right then and there? Let's see here. Will we be good? Okay, we got a double. Now we have a better chance of getting the last item. Let's see here. No, I guess not. Come on out. Don't be shy. <laughs> it just doesn't like me, guys. You see it right here, this is what I have to go through. I try to get all the items to show you guys, but I can't even get the last item. It just doesn't like me. Okay, there we go. That is actually a very cool item to look at. Just look at that. It is a grand tree for crying out loud. All right, all right. And of course, that double, they gave me the items. All right, I, I'm not gonna argue with that. I'm just, I'm just happy that I'm able to get it. Now let's go ahead and take a look at them right now. That we're going to go ahead and see right here. I'm pretty sure that this is going to be the prehistoric. Okay, there we go. That's good. Now let's see what we get to see from here. So that's one. Okay, okay. Different type of colors. Not bad. Then for the weapon rack right there. Looks like it's just a four directional one. Then here. Would you call this a dream catcher? I don't know. And there we go. Just two different types of fur. Then for the tree. I actually like the tree. That actually looks very cool to look at. And it has different colors. Ooh, that's actually very nice. So pretty much one for every season, except for winter. Awesome. I'm not gonna lie, this is actually pretty cool. Especially that tree. I like how it looks. <laughs> it looks so awesome for the fall season right there. All right, all right. Well, let me go ahead and put the other ones down. Just to show you guys right here. Since I already went through all the trouble collecting them, why not just put them all down here? Okay, there we go. And last but not least, then we have ourselves this one. I still don't want to know exactly what it is, but it still looks cool nevertheless. And before I forget, let's go ahead and take a look at Pogo. I almost completely forgot about this. But what we got here is that we have ourselves Edgar and Maya here. That we have Maya on the very top with a bit of a hat that looks like a T-Rex right there. Maya is fierce, so do not mess with Maya. Then on the bottom, I think that that is Edgar with the actual leopard skin on the head. I have no idea what exactly it is, but we all know that. Looks like Maya does a lot of hunting here. But we see that in the Pogo sprites that we have Edgar as a caveman right then and there. So let me go ahead and exit out and see if we can actually get Maya right there too. Let's see here. Let's see. Come on now. Okay, there we go. Then we have ourselves Maya right there with a little bit of a onesie. A little bit of a T-Rex onesie. Isn't that cute? That is very, very adorable indeed. Now let's see here, let us see here. Maybe that was Edgar in the caveman type of leopard skin. So that does make sense right there. And then we're gonna go ahead and take a look at, well, Gobble. I almost forgot the name of the mini game. So let's go ahead and take a look at Gobble. Let's see if we actually have a brand new field to look at here. And looks like we have ourselves Pirates vs. Ninja right there. Okay, that doesn't count. All right, take two. Do we actually have a brand new playing field? And looks like this is the default one. On the bright side, it looks like I got all 15. Now that is very, very cool. Take three, let's see. Well, looks like this is a sci-fi. We're getting everything but the actual prehistoric event. Take four, come on now, let's see if we actually get it. Nope, that's the default one. Take five, hopefully, maybe. It looks like this is Pirates vs. Ninja. And last take, maybe we're gonna get it or maybe it doesn't exist. But this is a sci-fi one, but maybe it just doesn't exist. If you happen to see the map and that I was not able to get it, let me know in the comment section. But at least we still got to see Edgar and Maya in their costumes and that itself is very, very adorable. All right, all right. So as far as I know, so as far as I could find, that these are all the items 
from the packs, from the craniac, from the shop that you're able to get for the prehistoric event. Once again, it's that it's very nice just to see a brand new event to mix it up a little bit and to see whenever they bring it back, we'll probably get even more customizations. I'm hoping to see more customizations for the tuber. But in any case, that is all for now. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this event. Do you like the event? Do you not like the event? Just let us know. I'm just happy that Outer Minds is continuing to make this game relevant with all the brand new updates. I just cannot wait to see a huge update for PewDiePie's Tuba Simulator. One day that will happen and then we'll have more of a surge of players into the game once again but until next time this is gonna be the end of this video so if you enjoyed this video and found this video to be helpful then be sure to give this video a like especially that youtube just pretty much only cares about interaction when it comes to the video so it will help me out especially to keep on going with the youtube and of course if you're brand new to the channel and want to see more videos live streams and other content in the future then be sure to subscribe feel free to leave down your pewdiepie super similar username and as well as a network career in the comment section below have more friends have more followers have more gifts have more people join your network and have more fun playing the game every single day as they're going to continue up this game every month and also if you happen to have a discord account feel free to join my discord server so that you can be kept up to date with anything that i have post whether it be youtube twitch live streams videos or you just want to chat with people my server will be there for that but until next time have a nice day everyone i've been zero keys around zero and then as always i'll see you guys next time in a new video or live stream